I uh, just put in this uh, door opening. It went through a brick wall, and then on the other side was block. So what we did was we sawed it out, and then we got lentils and we put them on top. One thing I didn't show you when I was filming is I was throwing cement down from the top to fill this in. And we're going to look at the other side over here. We're on the other side and it's kind of bleached out because of the light. But this is block and uh, we got our lentils in. Now this door is going to be completely open. Never are they going to put a door on it. It's going to be a passageway. Otherwise we would have put our wood up and, and formed it that way. So I'm going to show you how we did it. Now we got a block building and a brick building right here. The first thing we're going to do is I made marks here and I made marks here and we're going to go and saw this doorway out of the block. Taking the brick out. Break and block out sometimes. Right there like that. And it's this way. Right up. So now we got the doorway all cut out. When you're looking up at brick like that, you don't see no big cracks going this way or that way. It's usually pretty safe. Never had a problem, of course. It's my opinion, right here. We smashed the blocks open, you can see. Right there we got the blocks open. We're gonna put our lentils across, and that's it. Now, I managed to put a board on this side. Side. Now before I put my forms up, I wash this down real good and wet it because cement don't stick to anything unless it's wet. Alright, I got my boards up. I'm just going to pack it in there. That's all I'm going to do. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Either throw it in like this, a little at a time, or just like that. See that goes in there. Or lock this up for a while. So I got it filled in here. Just like that, still wet. Fill it up to the top. I'll try for, this is what I'm using right here is that uh, fast drying concrete cement right there. Just mixing it up, throwing it in. Now I took like four of away. Got a little space in here, but this is what the, Half hour, this is all dry, ready to be gone over again. Here's the door. We had the form against. We got little holes in here, right? All the way down, you can see that. Now we're going to switch to the other side. I just patched it up right here. And the lentils are going to go up there. That'll be tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you how I patch it up. The first thing I do is patch it up. Listen to my preaching as you wet it first. Gotta wet it. I forgot my sprayer today. Just gotta wet it. I'm just using regular, regular sand and S mortar.
plaster and trowel if you want, but I'm not too worried about it. So, put it in there. Hides all your sins. There's only a washroom doorway anyway. Then, just like body work on a car, just get the sponge and kind of go over it. Give it the sand finish. We look at it the next day because we got to come back tomorrow to put the tops in. We'll check it out again. And if we got to put another coat on it, we put another coat on it. So that's how we do. It's a walk-through entrance. So here's the top right here. And this side that's already. This side that's already. of the scaffold on the inside. I got my lentils up and we look under here. Right? So what do we gotta do? Now we gotta pack it. So I gotta pack it and I gotta put a little two inch block here. Two inch block here. I'm trying to hold the camera. That's gonna go up in here like that. So I'm gonna saw this saw this block in half so it'll go in. I'm holding the camera with one hand, but you see what I'm doing? Packing that cement in there pretty good. And I gotta make sure that that's filled solid. Gotta make sure that that's filled solid in there. So you see I got it packed in there good. And I put my other piece in, which I'm trying to hold the camera. I'm up on a scaffold. Jam it in there real good. So that's it, just packed it in on top, and that top is done. What I'm doing is I, some people call it tuck. I call it pointing up. Just shove it in there real good like that. Best you can. And these my joints to make it look good. And then, because it's always sloppy, it's always sloppy. Just get a sponge in water, just do that. That's what you do. And uh, just sponge it up flat, that's all. So everything's nice and flat. So the way I put that doorway in was one way, but there's a lot of different ways to put a doorway in or cut a doorway out. And right here is an angle iron. It's another way. I could have used that. If I was going to use the brick, I would have used the angle iron. I went across it like that. But that's not what they wanted. They just wanted a, a lentil over, and they were happy with that. Uh, I've seen where they put in oak beams, and they've been there for a couple hundred years. So there's, I've seen arches. So there's no right or wrong way to do it. Everybody's got a different style and a different way. Uh, I just showed you my way. And uh, that's it.